Hey everyone, in this video, let's show you how you can use Dramina AI. In order to do so, here we are at dramina.capcut.com. So Dramina is a CapCut product. And as you can see, we can claim 150 free credits every day. So that's kind of nice. If you want to use Dramina, head over there, you get free credits to start. So that's really great. And we could see here that we have an image generator, we have a video generator, we have an avatar generator. You could see some of the different creations that other people have made. And there's some really nice stuff here. You could see the quality for yourself and it lo looks like Dramina is very effective as an AI image generator. Some really neat stuff here. So let's go ahead and go through it. So first off, we have our explore section. We have our profile section. We have our assets. So anything that we create should be found here. We have our image generator. So let's go ahead and we'll say, okay, generate images, describe the image you want to generate. Okay, we'll do that here in just a moment. Here we have our model. We could see that we have a few different models to try. It looks like the most recent one is the image 3.0. It's defaulting to that, so we'll go ahead and leave that there. We have standard resolution or we have high resolution, but we are going to need to upgrade in order to gain access to that. We have our aspect ratios. I'll put that on 16 by 9. And it looks like each generation is three credits. So with 150 credits and each image generation is three credits, you can definitely do quite a bit with Dramina. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we see up here, we have the video and we have the AI avatar. So let's go ahead and we'll take this step by step. Okay, so entered in our prompt here. We have a option to upload an image as well if we want to use a reference track and we can also draw text on the image as well so that's interesting but uh, we'll go ahead and hit generate and we'll see what the results are like looks like we get four generations at three credits each you do the math we'll see how long this takes okay and we have our results and quite honestly i think this looks pretty good very cool very cool i i find it interesting how the uh the sword and the bow are both the same weapon <laughs> it's kind of kind of cool but it is a, looks a little weird there but that happens sometimes so that's interesting it's interesting. I, I <laughs> the way that the sword is also the bow is kind of it's kind of cool, but it's uh it, it looks a little strange, and it looks like it more or less did the same thing with each of them. So I really like though. I mean, this looks really nice. I the the quality on this is really quite impressive. I think um, what we might have to do is we might have to fix our prompt so that way the uh we're just doing one or the other he's holding a sword let's go ahead and try that then with a gold sword we'll go ahead and we'll take the bow out of it because that's coming out a bit strange so let's go ahead and try generating that again but overall though i am really quite uh pleased with the quality of that i like um the style of it it looks like a cool uh comic book type thing um, so we'll try out the video on that as well. We'll see how that goes. There we go. That was pretty quick. All right. And we've already got some better results here. So that looks pretty cool. I really like that. Yeah. Some really nice results here. So as it is with this kind of stuff, oftentimes you get unintended uh results but i think taking the bow out of the situation we ended up with something really really nice here so i think this is kind of cool so on the right hand side here we can see that um we can generate this as a video we can edit this on the canvas so so with the uh, previous ones if we wanted to we could take that to the canvas and do some uh some in painting and we can even see here we have upscaling, we can retouch, in paint, expand, remove. So I'm actually very impressed with this so far. Uh, they're very um, uh, um, 
generous with the credits and the results are really quite nice i'm actually very impressed with this so let's go ahead and try the video out so i'm going to go ahead and hit generate video on this okay so then that brings us uh that inputs our image here we've got different models let's see here so i wonder if this is only for pro users We'll try it out here. Anyways, it, it does cost more credits. Let's see. So it's 30 credits versus 50 credits. And we can't change the duration. What do we lose in here? So we can change the motion speed. We have camera control. We have aspect ratio. We have videos to generate. Let's go ahead and go with the 2.0 though, because I want, I think that's going to give give us uh so yeah so the the images you can do a lot with but the videos is uh, there's only so much you can do with that so let's go ahead and hit generate on that and it says here that the generation is in queue and will take about 36 minutes so we don't have uh, time here to wait for that to finish but at the very least, you can get the idea for yourself how it is that Dramina works, and I would say that uh, it really is quite impressive. I think that it's um, really good for image generation. If you're looking for somewhere where you can get a lot out of the image generation and you're not going to run into limits on the free tier, then I would recommend taking a look at Dramina. I think that they're actually doing something pretty cool. Um, we'll let that work, and in the meantime, Let's just take a look at some of the other options here. So they do have lip sync as well. So that's pretty cool. That's good to know. Um, we can ex uh, do text to speech. We can upload the audio generation. Okay. We've got master mode and we've got fast mode. We can change the voice. We have a few voices here, quite a few voices to play around with. Yeah, let's just uh, take a look at a couple of the other options here. So if we want to download these, let me just see here which one I think is the best. It's kind of a toss up between the first one and the last one. They both look quite similar. We can go ahead and click there to download that can edit that on the canvas so let's go ahead and open that up in the canvas let's see here take a look at what the canvas offers okay so here we go got our image in painting so let's go ahead and try the in painting here actually um i think let's let's head back and let's use one of these where things didn't turn out exactly the way that we wanted it to. So here we go. We'll try that. Edit on canvas. Okay. Okay. So in this case, try the in painting. Okay, we can make that bigger. So let's try removing the bow here, because this is actually a pretty cool picture. Uh, well, we'll leave those on the back there. Why not? Describe what you want to inpaint. And we'll just say a hero holding sword. And we'll see how that works. That, that might not be the right prompt to use, but let's give it a try. Seems to be going pretty fast here. Okay. So yeah, I think it got a little bit confused. Uh, let's try reprompting and we'll just say, let's just uh, leave that and we'll try that again. We'll leave it blank. Sometimes leaving it blank is uh, a better way to go because it'll just try to fill in the blanks for itself. Might get confused if you, um, if you put a prompt in there. Okay, so that's better. 
that's better. It did remove the bow. So we could probably do a couple more in paintings and we do have a few options here. So that's also kind of cool. Yeah, so there you go. So I would say that uh, Dramina, Dramina is doing some pretty cool stuff. So far, I'm actually quite impressed with, with uh, what you can accomplish here. And they really are quite generous. With the credits, I would almost indicate that um, I would almost suggest that this is a better platform to use for the image generation because you can get so much out of it. You might want to use video generation on a different platform, but um, hard to say because that uh, image generation is going to take some time. But the fact that the video generation rather, but the fact that it does image and video is really quite impressive. And I would say that this comes with a, uh, a hearty recommendation. So that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. And don't forget to set your notifications for more helpful tips. Also, if you take a look at the link in the description, you will find a link to our link tree. There you'll find our top AI tool recommendations. Go ahead and click on any of those links to get started. You'd be helping us out as well, and we would greatly appreciate it.